side of the Alabama border oh, yeah. and this is the entrance to the Sequel Caverns named after the Indian who made the Cherokee alphabet and he was also in the army with Sam Houston. Ladies here who are getting dressed up in their Sunday best. It's September the 17th. 1995. This is a stream just outside the cave. And there's some bison in the field, which we'll get a picture of later. And also a wild turkey walking around. He's very plump. Message so they call them the talking leaves. They have to learn that I was disappointed by it. They could pass those talking leaves back and forth one another. See, he was pretty smart. He was half German, half Cherokee Indian. Now, I'm part German, part Cherokee Indian, not having half like he was. I'm hoping some of them smartness will rub off on me. Because he had spare and I could use some, so that's not enough to think about it. And we know, according to history, now the record kind of down, no doubt about that, those Cherokee Indians lived in this cave many years ago. Probably remember reading in the history. 1838, the poor Indians were driven out of country, what's called the Trail of Tears, south of southern time. I think we can all agree. You know, the Indian was tree as bad as the white man driven out of their homeland. In fact, to live in this cave here, this would be a logical place that took an eat so across the area here, the Indian kitchen. We have reason to believe they used water, because the base is up here for domestic use. Now, the developers said to the this cave here, they said if everything in natural state as much as possible, so they did shape up into the base somewhat. We didn't see them in the men that day. You also see them in the hood looking at the lights and then in the crowd. We set all back to the cave. And the cave had more history of this place before we started down the trail. This place was developed in the middle of the cave was first 1964. So that gives us the history of the place. So we move on down the trail. One, one, one word of caution. I told you about the music. Now we'll go back out. We're going to go down this way now. 
Railroad is one mile up. These are the daredevil passengers. <laughs> Welcome to board Lookout Mountain Incline Railroad, the world's steepest passenger incline railway and America's most amazing ride. Our incline car will travel nearly one mile straight up the face of Lookout Mountain at a speed of 600 feet per minute, reaching an altitude of 2,100 feet above sea level. The car in which you're riding was installed in March 1987. Each car is steel and was especially built for the incline at an 18 degree angle. Each car is 42 feet long and weighs 12 tons. Two one and a quarter inch wire cables carry the incline cars up and down the mountain. You should feel more comfortable about your ride knowing that the cables have a combined strength of 142 tons. The cables are fastened under a drum car, wound around huge drums on the machine room at the top of the mountain, and connected underneath the other car, so that the two cars operate like weights on a pulley. When one car goes up, the other car comes down. The entire cable system is changed every three years. Other safety features include an Otis elevator safety guard, which automatically locks the cars down if their speed goes above 10 miles per hour. A giant automatic brake in the incline's machine room, which will lock down the cars in case of a power failure. Yes. And manual brakes for use by the operators. In recognition of the incline's historically significant role and unique mechanical design, in 1974 it was designated a National Historic Site by the United States Department of the Interior, and in 1991, a National Historic Mechanical Engineering Landmark by the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. The incline began making history on November 16, 1895 when the first car reached the crest of the mountain. That car was made of wood with open windows that gave passengers an exhilarating feeling as they traveled up and down the mountain. In the early days, the power was supplied by huge coal-burning steam engines situated in the powerhouse at the crest of the mountain. On each trip, the incline cars would carry coal for use in the boilers in specially designed containers attached to the upper ends of the cars. In 1911, the coal burning engines were converted to an electrical system. Today, the two 120 horsepower motors, huge drum gears, and other operating machinery which provide power for the cars can be seen at a viewing area at the Lookout Mountain Station. Lookout Mountain is part of the Cumberland Mountains. It has also been used to transport freight, mail, and school children. <laughs> As the incline is the fastest method of transportation up and down the mountain, it has been known to help a mother-to-be make it to the hospital in time. There have been several weddings aboard the incline while the cars climb the mountain. As the incline climbs historic Lookout Mountain, it will travel through the cities of Chattanooga and Lookout Mountain, as well as Hamilton County and the Chickamauga and Chattanooga National Military Battlefield. Traveling up the mountain, history, Plan to visit Point Park, located three blocks from the Lookout Mountain Station, saw of the Tennessee River Valley, 1,500 feet below. 
Colorado, we hope you enjoy your ride on the Amber Line. When you reach the Lookout Mountain Station, take your time and enjoy the shops, observation decks, and machine rooms. Stay as long as you please and have a nice visit on Historic Lookout Mountain. Point Military Park on top of Lookout Mountain, and it is a national park. Monday, the 18th. We're on the Foothills Parkway about 20 miles south of Townsend. Just outside the Smoky Mountains.
Started in 1882, this building was used continuously as the school and the Primitive Baptist Church until 1935. Children walked as far as nine miles to attend school, which in some years was in session only six weeks. An old-fashioned cook stove was used for heat. Logs up to 25 inches were cut in the nearby woods and hauled to this site by oxen. Old Town Denied. Your leisure area, your dining area. How about a dip in the jacuzzi? Or check out that bed. Whoa! But then, if you get cold, you can snuggle up to the fireplace. Two TV. <laughs> This is the line. Oh, no. Oh, Kenny, you got one sitting here. Oh, that's the... Uh, uh, that's the Can you give me another one, please? Bring me, bring me one, too. I left mine somewhere. Does everyone have their little sheets? No, I don't. Just look out the steps. Here you go. Okay. What did you say? Set my patty here. You want to go last? Mine ain't even under. It's pretty shitty. Well, it ain't, so I'm, I'm clearing that. No. Technically? No. no. The next one where it says <laughs> roasting. What are you supposed to do? Just listen. Well, that's good. That's all I'm going to do anyway. Okay. You're on, Ken. Well, it's supposed to be a tribute to Kay, huh? Well, <laughs> <laughs> well as much as she puts up with me, I don't know what more she, tribute you can give to her for straightening me out and stuff. But she's always been a peacemaker. Trying to keep me out of trouble, trying to keep peace between family and everything. Sometimes I think she's too nice. That's my honoriness instead of hers. Well, they say that. They say all crap, right? <laughs> yeah. Boy, you you I'll get some over here, Karen. Here, you'll probably need this. <laughs> you want <laughs> I don't know what, uh, how many years ago now? 22? When I first made some school? <laughs> What'd your file law say? Oh, God. <laughs> you put me through your ringer. Hello. Hello. Hey. <laughs> when he got, your, he got his dowry, didn't he? Yeah. Whatever. What was the dowry? He got rid of her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are they talking about? We're like way off birthdays. <laughs> this is what the <laughs> has meant to him. Well, as far as his daddy, you know, she's been everything to me. Hmm. You know, she went through a lot with me with all the surgeries and all the pain and everything. Yeah, she's not, not great. Not great. Not great here at all. <laughs> Especially when I hide your ball on top of the refrigerator, huh? <laughs> Keep all hair dye and hit it on top of the refrigerator on her. <laughs> mm. And if she's this good at 40, I just wonder what she's going to be at 60. Oh. <laughs> Aren't you glad to hear that? Savior. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the rest of the trick you have to come at home? <laughs> okay, Stephanie. Okay. My tribute is when you're trying to get me to go to Bible school 
and I didn't want to go, and I said something smart and took off down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> you ran after me and tripped on the rug <laughs> and crawled to me <laughs> and continued yelling. <laughs> Determination. So, <laughs> I just have to give you props for crawling to me to yell. <laughs> And that's my tribute. <laughs> my mother is a very, she gets very excited. Very excited. Exciting. Two examples. Oh, I get two. She gets excited by movies, especially when watching Fightful. <laughs> and we were watching Fightful, and. She, she gets excited. I don't know what was happening, but oh. she gets, she got real excited. And she throws the popcorn up in the air. <laughs> they got one in the front row. And you can see the shadow of the popcorn on the movie screen. <laughs> and the bucket, too. <laughs> and also, she, she, she likes to wrestle. She likes to wrestle. I like to wrestle? I have, a, I have an example. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I won, of course. I won. You won? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> this took place in my room. Yes, I said something bad. <laughs> this is so in front of her. No, this is a tribute saying you're very energetic. <laughs> even though, even though even you're though old. You're old. <laughs> <laughs> but I said something bad. And the thing was, you got soap in your mouth. And... I didn't want soap in my mouth. I was tired of it. <laughs> I was tired. It wasn't the first time. It was it. It was, it, it, I don't know if it was family or what. <laughs> but yes, just but soap and it would get stuck in between your teeth. And I mean, because she'd rub it well, on. She'd rub on your teeth, not just she'd on your tongue. She'd rub it everywhere. And the floss. I wasn't gonna let it get in my mouth, so she took me down. <laughs> <laughs> in my room. <laughs> <laughs> Ben, I didn't know ever said anything bad. Well, you know what's bad is you start taking gymnastics, so you start getting strong. <laughs> <laughs> and I just have to say, I can't believe you've made it this far, because you've been shot twice. Oh, yeah, and that's true. It won't hurt. Yeah. Oh, that nail gun. I <laughs> yeah, I get Oh, her. my God. <laughs> <laughs> No gun, BB gun. Well, I cleared the air gun. They, I made sure there wasn't no nails in and stuff, but I forgot about that little hammer that oh comes God. out. I didn't, I didn't think the hammer came out past the end of it. I put it right on her butt and shot it. <laughs> God, she screamed. Kitty! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, if the black blue mark ever ran. Oh, man. That was funny. <laughs> Shoot the balloon with a little ball. <laughs> BB gun. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I do remember the car incident where... <laughs> it's like, I'm still driving. John, what are you doing? Get back in the car! I opened up the door and oh, Jack put a big hole in my pants. Yeah, that's your Sunday pants too, I think, wasn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I remember doing ball my eyes out going, I want Kentucky Fried Chicken in the bathroom after we got back and was in so much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do, John? I don't know. The door just opened and he just started driving out the... He still had his seatbelt on or something. I, think. Or I was probably just... Uh, or I was probably just being honorary or something. I, I did have a confession. What? That I, something I did once. That you, nobody knows about. What did you do? Huh? Well, you had that big bomber car, right? And you always parked it out there in the garage, by the garage. Big Dot 88. Yeah, whatever it was. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Well, I stuck a nail under the tire. <laughs> Your tire went flat. Wow, <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. I remember it. What's that? Did you see what would happen? I just wanted to see what happened. When he sneaked the nail in his family. AK, whenever he gets his new car back, remember that now. That's right. <laughs> no. nice it must have been nail. like a... Probably nine penny or eight penny nail because it was like one of these really big long. Okay, you got some of those in the garage. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Not just one. <laughs> I don't know what else uh, honorary things I don't done to you. Well, you were always, you know, I, always. Every time we went to Sunday school class, you came back and I was uh, disciplined. <laughs> <laughs> you paid off though, didn't you? Yeah. 
<laughs> what about when you broke her ankle? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't my fault. She was trying to bounce me. Jumping on the trampoline and, yeah. and um, I, I was trying to, you know how you can bounce people when they come down a tire? Well, I was trying to do that with him and uh, I don't know what happened, but my ankle popped. And I fractured my ankle, I had to wear a cast for three weeks. Uh, hot, pink, hot pink, hot pink. Yeah, around Christmas time. Yeah. It was, was it that Thanksgiving that last year, Pepple, yeah. and I went with yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, and she was hobbling through the I don't think you were there. Now that you're 40, you can't do that because your bones don't heal. Hey. Good, remember? You still see me out rollerblading. Stimulators. There you go. That's from our company and help pay my salary. There you go. <laughs> what else have I what else have I done to you? I don't know. I don't know what uh I'm not sure. Oh well. <laughs> no more it's been fun. <laughs> yeah. Text bad boy now. I won't put any more nails into your tires. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> yeah, you give your son bad ideas now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if my tires go flat and they have nails in them, somebody's in trouble. <laughs> when Kay was a little girl, she used to tell us that uh, she was going to live in a log cabin back here. That was before the post office was there. It was an old farmhouse and a little house out in back, and she was going to have a log cabin back there. She wasn't. She was going to leave home, but she wasn't going to leave home. <laughs> Not very far. <laughs> and then she put a note on the bulldozer. Oh, it was mad. <laughs> when I started to the woods down to build the post office and all the birds were leaving, they were all confused and they came back, came home for that, that day on the trees. There's no trees there. I did. I think you guys found that note, don't you? Well, that's right. Well, that was scary walking over that big bulldozer. <laughs> Put that note on there. Then you made me go back and get it. <laughs> that was scary. You, you were into... Uh, environmental fun. protection long before it was environmental I protection, guess. weren't you? <laughs> so instead I took the, <coughs> barn, took the barn door. Then, you know, who took it? Siding. And I took the barn siding off. Yeah, down in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what that one picture frame's made out of, ain't it? It was our antique picture. I think I got a small piece of that made out of that barn siding. Mm -hmm. My turn. Mm -hmm. Ship would not have started without my consent. <laughs> I was working on the car out front. <coughs> Here come two young cats up and said, and this nut said, we wish your blessing. I'm getting hot at you. Something's not working right now. What? What? They gave me the best time of the mood. We wish your blessing. And I said, what the hell's this all about? You know, I'm getting <laughs> So they finally said, we'd like to get married. I said, oh, yeah, here's another. <laughs> <laughs> so we chatted a little bit. And then all of a sudden I said, well, come in the house. <laughs> we sat at the table. I went to the refrigerator, bought Broke out a big bottle of wine, <laughs> and <laughs> opened it up. Nutsy got half stupefied. This is on empty stomach. Too, no, I was <laughs> nervous. I said, "Okay, okay." And that's there you are. What we got? What we got? <laughs> Very great relationship. <laughs> Really good. Yeah, I introduced her to a lot of stuff, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Your first car chase <laughs> by the cops. <laughs> Hello, do you have anything you want to say? <clears throat> Two things. Well, when she gets mad, it seems like I have dreams that when she gets mad, her hair sticks up. <laughs> She's like a dog. <laughs> Look if you put your hand under science things and you hate your stick And then I remember so loud. when her car broke down and I was going to the swimming pool and she was so mad. I think. <coughs> yeah, we didn't, get, we didn't get a guess one. Well, and, and, she's, and, she's, and I was like, well, what's wrong with the car? And she's like, well, it broke down. And I was like, well, how? And I asked her a whole bunch of questions. 5,000 questions. For well, what? Well, why? Well, must not be too bad because y'all still come back. <laughs> then I remember one time when she was driving, I was, I was like, chewing that bush. I remember 
because it had to remember this or not. But I remember my mom made her put a curtain over her and took a picture of her. She's still taking pictures. I'm still taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> at least you don't have a grape on you this time. Yeah. To make me wear dirty. <laughs> That's for sure. <clears throat> Nikki? Oh, we weren't too bad. We weren't too bad, Rumi's huh? No, no. No. <laughs> Remember all the, the fun times we had hiking in the woods? <laughs> Chase five mosquitoes. <laughs> um, on the bike trail. Coming up, Air Captain get riding his bike again. I can go faster than you guys if I can. I hope so. Especially now. I will. She's going to get you can yeah, walk really. faster She's over the hill now. I'm going to get a new bike and, oh, and it's going to go faster when I ride the bike. Yeah, All right. Got, I got to buy her a moped now because she can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll just go on the flat bike trail. Mm -hmm. Pat? Oh. Your turn, Pat. What do you think when oh, Lisa yeah. Mama said I'm going to get married? I just let him go ahead. I ain't got anything bad to say, well, but did she's you think good or bad. She's just she tries to keep the whole family together. She's got too big of a heart. <laughs> wow! And she always involves me in things. <laughs> Quick stomping. <laughs> 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 and don't even dive in and try to find where I'm at when I go under. Hey, but you didn't lose your glasses. <laughs> no, I didn't lose my glasses. And my watch still works, too. <laughs> but she took the watch off and she put on her, her glasses on the end again. Well, you tell her, you were there. Huh? You're doing fine. Go ahead. Well, she decided to go over towards the... I think you were trying to go get Dana or something. No, the inner tube just went this way, and I and went she just this way. All of a sudden, she disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> and then we look back, and here she comes up out of the water, and her glasses are kind of like cock eye all half off her face, and this look on her face. And it was, it was kind of funny, but I mean, it's funny. What's well, funny at the time, but... Kind of scary. <laughs> The good thing I was there because I, I would have thought it was funny, you know. <laughs> well, it was for a while. Darn thing, that was good cook. I'd take one up in the lens and stuff. Yeah, and how we used to go skating. I went skating that one time with you guys. <laughs> Old Germantown when the kids were there. Yeah, and then you broke your finger. No, I didn't break it. That was Sharon. Yeah, Sharon and I were doing that. Yeah, she might have, but then I just sprained mine or done something to it. Sure, knows anybody who gets around and gets hurt. <laughs> What happened to you on the trampoline? Yeah, you fell off. Yeah, yeah, bounced, bounced off. There's pregnant on Gary. Mom never had broke bone in her family or her life till you come along. <laughs> I don't need it till I had kids. <laughs> yeah, we need to take him creek stomping. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All Can I have to say, boy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All I have to say, boy, is you don't know what you're getting in. <laughs> boy, get that's true. I'm gonna swim in a deep, deep, deep. Oh yeah. <laughs> Aaron, that leaves you. Oh, I just enjoyed giving you all those natural highs. Making them lay out on the ground and picking up her ankle and picking up her hand and going around and making her fly. <laughs> and I still get her on the ground because um, this fall she was laying prostrate on the ground so she could get a weed out of the creek oh. for your pond. <laughs> She still does whatever I tell her. Oh, mm -hmm. Mom. Go across that bridge over there and see if the park's on the other side. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, that was scary. Mom, she does scary. everything I tell her. Scary. And Mom, scared to death. Tell them when you should pick on her. You always see her that face when we caught the Six Flags on the way back from Florida. That one ride, oh, they take yeah. you up like 10 stores. It was just a, they just drop you. So, it's actually riding on a vertical rail so when you get down the bottom it just turns and you end up laying on your back but you drop 10 stories. I, I looked over at her, I was I'd have a ball. I looked over and I swear to God she looked oriental. The, the look on her face. <laughs> <laughs> right. I didn't like oh, you know, like, oh well, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
what? She game for anything at least once. If she talks you into anything, don't she? Going down Germantown Hill on a sled. Oh, God. <laughs>